Um, look out my window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Look at this guy standing up right there. Another guy moving over there. Another guy standing way over there. Are those prairie dogs? There's prairie dogs outside my RV, guys. Texas is full of surprises. Look at this. Look at all these prairie dogs everywhere. Look how close he is right there. Oh my gosh. I have never actually seen a prairie dog up close like like in the wild like this. I've seen them, uh, I don't know, I've probably seen them at a few zoos, but I love how they build those little holes. They're like little, I don't know what you call them, little, little gophers. They remind me of uh, Groundhog Day. And then they got, <laughs> I love how they stand up like that. Is that where the term I'm, I'm, I'm prairie dog and it comes from? Because they just kind of stick out of the hole a little bit. Come, look at this friendly guy, he wants to come right up to me. I didn't bring any food, mister, sorry. It's like, well then, you got, I got no use for you now, buddy. These guys are adorable. What a neat little surprise here. Just outside of uh, Lubbock, Texas. I don't know. They're funny little dudes. And they're pretty darn friendly. They're pretty photogenic too. I'm surprised. All right, mister, we'll see you later, okay? I don't think I'm allowed to feed you. So it's actually called Prairie Dog Town. The vision of Prairie Dog Town. You can't just tell them where to go. There must be a reason why they're here. Oh because people put bread and food out for them. <laughs> That's awesome. But we got to get on the road west today. All right, bye Prairie Dogs, nice to see ya. Well, <laughs> we drove today. Sorry I didn't film a whole lot, but I will make this video longer in the next day, adding to it. Uh, because we're here at another Texas free campground with partial hookups, another one, yeah. And uh, Miranda's all level there. But I gotta show you something cause we're here in Littlefield, Texas. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. You know who that is? Waylon Jennings. An old country music guy from Highwaymen. Uh, yeah, he's from here. Littlefield, 1937. This is his free RV park here in Littlefield, Texas. Uh, I think three nights free with power and water. They got a garbage over there. It's close to town. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome sauce, right? There's a couple more actually too. We're about 50 miles from Hereford, Texas. Remember the Hereford Aquatic Center that I did on Route 66 a couple years ago? Same, same thing like this free campground with hookups. I, I've traveled all over the country and you just don't see any other state catering to RVs like this. Hey, welcome to our city. Plug in. Farewell, Texas. No, we're actually in Farewell, Texas. We're waiting for this uh, train to finish up here and then we are leaving Texas officially. In fact, some of these back roads, the roads are really bad, the gas prices are really high. And uh, there's still 75 mile an hour speed limit on roads that anywhere else would be like 40 or 45 in the country. So we're gonna get back to I-40 for the amenities and the gas prices and the better roads and the straighter route. Uh, but Texas was nice. Today, we're getting into New Mexico. Oh, and we are, there's the welcome to New Mexico sign right there. So hopefully, Hopefully the roads will get a little better now. Uh, we've got, what, 121 miles to kind of diagonally shoot up to tie into I-40. But yeah, here's New Mexico. And yes, that rattling back there is gonna get fixed eventually. There's a list. The railroad track is miles away and the day is loud with voices speaking. Yet there isn't a train goes by all day, but I hear its whistle shrieking. All night there isn't a train goes by, though the night is still for sleep and dreaming. But I see its cinders red on the sky, and hear its engine steaming. My heart is warm with the friends I make, and better friends I'll not be knowing. And yet there isn't a train I wouldn't take, no matter where it's going. A poem by Edna St. Vincent Millay. Travel. Well, 
We are back on the mother road. Remember this one, I-40 in New Mexico or otherwise, Route 66. And I got a couple stops. I wanna make things I didn't get to in 66 days a couple years ago, but, but first, check out the blue hole. I think that water is gonna be warmer than the ambient temperature outside right now. And nobody's here year round 61 degrees, guys. I jumped in from that up there a couple years ago. Ooh, the water looks good. Don't you push me. <laughs> Look at that water. Oh, it's just gorgeous today. They do allow diving too. You gotta have your diving permit. But yeah, that water looks good. Not jumping in, but let's go test the temperature. All right, here we go. It's not warm. It's not warm. But it's not as cold as like a freezing lake. Look how turquoise blue it is. That is cool. But I don't want to be freezing today, so. All right, let's go find what, food first? Yeah, we're gonna get some grub first. Oh yeah? Is that how you do it? Angela, can you sit on the couch with the dinette? Jax is reclaiming his seat. Oh. Yeah. Strap you in. It's funny because as soon as we get going, just like in Yoda, he, he'd rather be on the floor underneath one of these seats or something. But um, it here. is cute. We'll see how long he lasts. I'm gonna go try to find this rest day you want. Ready, Jax? Ready, Angela? <laughs> you mad? <laughs> is she giving me the grumpy face? <laughs> Jax, you putts. You're so mean. Can't you share? Oh. You gonna share? That's very nice of you. Okay. See? Angela, you can have it back. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So we're gonna call this area Santa Clara our resting point for one day. We put on a lot of miles today. At least five hours of driving. Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa, that's what it is. What did I say? Uh, Clara? Yeah, I wouldn't have caught that in anything either. Not quite sure where we'll be able to park, but see this restaurant sign off to our left? They said there's parking in the back. Oh, there you go. We'll try that. But it is a Route 66 restaurant. Let's see. I am going to... So in a big rig, this is how you want to enter these big dips. At a steep angle like this. And... Find some parking. Easy parking in the rear. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's good to be back on Route 66. Didn't even plan this, but I'm wearing my Route 66 cap too. Ooh, burgers, tacos. Mm-hmm. I'm starving. I'm starving. Uh-oh, proper attire. Is this proper? Got the whole restaurant to ourselves, but I like it. Classy. I know I normally go with the burger, but today I'm feeling a little adventurous. The bacon burger. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Angela got Mexican. I got a food. salad. That I got a good. salad. Look, there's that salad. Actually, that actually does look good, though. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm starting my diet tomorrow, I swear. Oh, right, okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, the Route 66 Auto Museum. Over 30 cars on display. First, a couple outdoor cars. The old convertible fire truck there. Uh-huh. That's a lot of pro... Ow. Hey, uh, those are sharp. New Mexico, thanks. You don't gotta pay a lot, you just gotta pay attention. Oh wait, a couple more. Shovel ready, that's right, we bad. <laughs> that's great, I love it. Wow. Oh my gosh, a little backhoe in the back. This thing's got everything. Awesome. All right, let's go check it out. Wow. Look at this place. You could smell the smell of gasoline in here. Ah, oh, it's great. Looking at the magnets here first, I think I'm gonna have to get this Route 66 thermometer magnet because I don't have a thermometer in the RV yet. 
That'd be great, right? Even the cash register is a Chevy. Yeah, you can go check. Then I can check if you're really interested. Oh, I like the Ford one. Mmm. Pictures are okay, and I'm only taking 30 per second right now here with you guys. And it's $5 to get in. What the heck is this? 1974 Co with a 454 in it. Wow. Now I feel old. If a if a Datsun is is retro and old. Oh, they got the old Kevin Harvick back when he was sponsored by Budweiser. Yeah. Look at that black and white Chevy Nova. Ooh. They do have a lot of NASCAR stuff here. The Jeff Gordon. What a nerd. Oh, look at that Chevy Street Rod. Ooh. These are, these are getting expensive. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. 74 Vega could be yours for 11 5 Yeah, that ain't bad. It's cute. I'll tow that behind the RV. My absolute favorite color in this Chevy pickup truck, cerulean blue. That is an actual paint color, cerulean blue. And it's gorgeous. Can't go wrong with a 65 Mustang. Get that wood paneling. <laughs> that's great. The inside too? Yeah. Okay, that's creepy doll, but yeah. Look at this Impala here. This one's for you, Sean. <laughs> 61 for 55 grand. Ooh. How's she look on the inside? She looks clean. Clean. And Illinois plates. <laughs> She's pretty. Yeah, they got some fun cars, fun history in here. The Mother Road. Where are we? Right there. All right, well, we're gonna go find a campground to stay at tonight, cause, well, cause we don't have solar and it's cold and we're boondocking, freezing tonight, actually. I think 28 to 30, something like that. So because of that, we don't wanna just run the generator all the time. It's just, isn't, it's not practical to boondock until we get solar. So we're gonna go find a little park to, uh, plug into and then we got to get into another state tomorrow <laughs> yeah all right well we'll put up my new magnets first that slick route 66 one mm-hmm and since i'm a ford v10 guy gotta have it Well, that was a bit of an adventure up here. We're pretty far up here high. We had to drive, I don't want to say in the mountains, but really high in elevation to get up here. And I got this uh, $8 camping on free campsites and we got up here and of course the gate was closed. They don't open until April 1st. Uh, but luckily there was another campground with some two sites available that are really unlevel. I mean, look at that wasn't gonna work but can you believe miranda is level there i mean we used every bit of those automatic leveling jacks and in the back the back ones well they're all the way up to the curb see that using every inch and then we had to drive the rv back pretty far back into our covered area to be able to get level but i guarantee you there was no way we would have stayed here without hydraulic leveling jacks it just wasn't wasn't gonna work i'm really happy with it actually for one night it's really gonna work and drezzy poos outside getting some fresh airs what do you think buddy where's jack's man you done driving for the day all right i appreciate your help today with sleeping it off okay man Okay. It's uh, 30 amp again, so using my adapter over there. No biggie. I don't need to dump the tanks. I don't need to get water. We're fine. We just wanted to have electric until we get the solar stuff done. But look, trees that are taller than I am. They're shrubs, but still. Maybe some walking trails around here. Um, service is an issue, but it's worth it for one night.
Do you have anything you'd like to say, Jax? Just the normal stuff? Okay. Cool. Good night, everyone. See you soon. A few days, I hope, from a new state. <laughs>